Hello guys, it's me again. I'm here to tell you about part two of the prison story. What all happened? What all the bad things that happened to me? I'm here to tell you. Remember the guy that shoved his big veiny cock in me? Well guess what? After the incident, blood was coming at me anus and I was crying a lot. I was crying so much. Tears were down my eyes. I was crying and crying. And the guards came and rushed in. And I was like, what happened? I was going to cry. It was too late. My bum was sore. I already have been raped. The guards can do anything about it. <laughs> Later on that day. The guards introduced him into my cell. They moved him into my cell for some odd reason. They don't know that he raped me in my ass. And I know. <laughs> Just when I thought things couldn't get much worse. Hello little young man. The anus was good. Now I will be moving in. Your say you. Nothing to do anything. Anything. I will rape you. You be working for me. My big veiny cock is ready for you. Get on your knees and get to sucking. Please no. Get on your knees now. And you will be sleeping on the floor. Get on your knees. Okay, okay. I'm getting on my knees now. <laughs> that was a good job. Ah, oh, you're my bitch. I own you now. <laughs> After that, I gave him, I gave him this little job. <laughs> I was his ex <laughs> I had to work for him. I was a prostitute. He turned me into a prostitute. <laughs> And he was my pimp. He would slap me on my ass and tell me I better do what he said. Oh, he's gonna go balls deep into my anus. <sighs> and he's gonna make sure his cock come out through the other end of my mouth. <laughs> his incredible hot cock. I've been sleeping with men. They've been fucking me. Other guys, I just been <laughs> sailed everywhere. The flashbacks. <laughs> they made me a bitch. I was walking around like a prostitute. And I was fucking on every guy's cock in the prison. <laughs> 